with Luther for June 13th. Today our reading is from Genesis chapter 2 verses 20 through 24. I'm reading from the Revised Standard Version. The man gave names to all the cattle and to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman, and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother, and cleaves to his wife, and they become one flesh. This is the word of God. Luther writes, as Adam was pure and holy, the words of Adam may rightly be said to be divine words of the voice of God, for God spoke through him. All the words and the works of Adam in that state of innocency are divine, and therefore may truly be said to be the words and works of God. Eve is presented to Adam by God himself, and just in the same manner as the will of God is prepared to institute marriage, so Adam is prepared to receive Eve with all pleasure and holiness when brought unto him. So even now the affection of the intended husband toward his betrothed spouse is of a particular and elevated kind. It is worthy of our greatest wonder and admiration that Adam, the moment he cast his eye on Eve, knew her to be a creature formed out of himself. He immediately said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. These are not the words of an ignorant one, nor of one who is a sinner, nor of one who was ignorant of the works and creation of God. They are the words of one righteous, wise, and full of the Holy Spirit, of that Holy Spirit who reveals to the world, before ignorant of such high and holy wisdom, that God is the efficient cause of marriage, and that the final cause of marriage is that the wife might be unto her husband a civil, moral, and domestic habitation and cohabitation. This knowledge comes not from the five senses and reason merely, it is a revelation of the Holy Spirit. That word now in this sentence most beautifully expresses the glad surprise and exulting joy of a noble spirit which had been seeking this delightful companion of life, a companionship full not only of love but of holiness, as if Adam had said, This woman is at length what and all I want. With her I desire to live and with her to obey the will of God and the propagation of posterity. Now, however, this true purity, innocence, and holiness are lost. There still remains, indeed, a feeling of joy and affection in the intended husband toward his spouse, but it is impure and corrupt on account of sin. The affection of Adam, however, was most pure, most holy, and grateful to God. This knowledge comes not from the five senses and reason merely, it is a revelation of the Holy Spirit. When God brings that person to you, <clears throat> that he intends for you, you know it. Um, too often it's feelings. Too often it's um, emotions that are playing into marriage. Um, may it be a revelation to you, especially if you're listening to this, watching this video, and you're younger, and you're considering marriage, may it be a revelation of the Holy Spirit, who He has brought to you, so that you might say, finally, and be exceedingly joyous about it, and be able to hang on to the knowledge that God has given to you, instead of your emotions. Let's pray. We pray for marriage everywhere, Lord, that you would bless, um, that you would uh, fulfill uh, these relationships. We pray especially for marriage in your church, that people would learn how to depend upon you instead of depend upon their feelings, that they would depend upon your word and know what it is to be married in Christ. So uh, bless and fulfill the marriages in your church and cause the generation coming up to be blessed by this holy institution. We ask it in the name of Christ and for his glory in his church on earth. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. 
Please be back with me again tomorrow for Reading the Word with Luther.